Mr. Detective. Hey, you. You working hard? Yeah, for a few more weeks. The school year is almost over, which kind of snuck up on me. After being told I wasn't invited back, I didn't want the year to end, but here we are. And as much as I'm going to miss it, I have some feelers out. Don't worry, I'm only looking at schools in Port Charles. That's great. I'm glad. Me too. Oh, and I spoke to my lawyer. Diane reminded me how many people Wiley has fighting for him. Between you and Michael and his family and Brad and Lucas and their family. Yeah, it's quite, quite an army you've got there. I know, right? And Shiloh, I mean, he suspects I had his baby, but without proof, there's not a whole lot he can do. Especially from jail. Chase, what's wrong? Willow, I... I hate to tell you this. But the charges against Shiloh have been dropped. He's been released. I don't understand. The police had proof. One of Shiloh's followers claims to be the person behind drugging Sam McCall. Harmony. How did you... We haven't even released the Harmony name. is my mother and Shiloh's biggest fan. She stopped by for a little visit after you left this morning. What was she here for? To tell me that she and Shiloh don't believe I lost the baby and that she was my only hope. For what? To broker a peace with Shiloh by telling him where to find the baby. For my own sake. Or else what? Whatever Shiloh can think of. He's devious enough to think of something. So she showed up here to threaten you on his behalf? Well, he's in custody, so someone had to do it. You get along with your mom. So you probably think there's some sacred bond between mother and child. For me, there isn't. I've been a cop long enough to have learned that. She will always choose Shiloh over me. But it's not like I should take it personally because she chose Shiloh over everyone. Including herself, apparently. Because she just went to jail for him. It's like I told you. She brought me to Shiloh in the first place. She chose to let him have me. You could even say she gave me to him. And now she's choosing his freedom over hers. And mine. You've told me how devoted your mom is to Shiloh. But I mean, has she always been that way? Was she like this with all her gurus and cult leaders? No. I mean, she'd always give them the benefit of her faith at first, but they never captivated her. I think part of that was due to my dad. Your dad? You've, you've never mentioned him before. I guess I just assumed that he wasn't part of the picture. Yeah, that's my fault. It hurts too much to explain, so I kind of just gloss over it. But that's not fair to my dad, because he did try over and over. He was a little more skeptical than my mom. Shiloh was the first person to convince him that he had the answers. Your dad was one of Shiloh's hardcore disciples. Not hardcore, but he believed Shiloh was sincere. And that Dawn of Day really was dedicated to helping people and doing good deeds. But my mother... Shiloh did a number on her. She loved every minute of it. Harmony's all, look at me. I'm a strong, fierce, badass woman because Shiloh says I am. I mean, we joined Dawn of Day as a family. But before too long, she was all about Shiloh. She came between me and my dad because my dad was weak and Shiloh was Superman. So Shiloh used Harmony to take you away from your dad? Oh, he totally did. But everything really changed when Shiloh created the trust. My mother was the first person, no, sorry, there are no men in the trust, the first woman invited to join. And after she slept with Shiloh, that, that kind of broke my dad. What happened to him? 